Welcome, Sats Geniuses, to question number 22. And this one, the biggest advice I can give you here is to write things onto the diagram. Write extra numbers onto the diagram to help you, and it will help you get to the answer. So, six identical right angle triangles are arranged to make a rectangle. We've got seven down the side there, and we've got question mark along the bottom. And we've got to figure out the, what this question mark along the bottom is, because that is the length of the large rectangle, the whole thing. Now, the easiest thing to do here is say, right, well, okay, if two of the triangles put together are seven high like that, then this distance here must be half of that, and this distance must be the other half. So half of seven is 3.5, and this half of seven is also 3.5. Now, that is actually gonna be equal to this distance along here. Because if you rotate these triangles where I'm putting a little star round and put them upright, you're gonna get this triangle here. So those distances, that short distance of 3.5 is this distance as well. That is also 3.5. Now we'll use a different color to color code the next bit. We are told that the whole thing down the side the left hand side is seven centimeters. But remember, this is a large rectangle. The whole thing makes a rectangle. So if it's seven centimeters down that side, it is also seven centimeters down the other side because opposite sides in a rectangle have the same length. Now, once you know it's seven centimeters down this side, that's this distance here. But this is the upright distance of this triangle. Now, if you were to rotate that triangle round and fit it down here, that seven centimeters would end up along the bottom there. So that distance is seven centimeters. And basically now we've got all we need to find the total distance of the question mark because we've got seven plus 3.5. And the seven plus the 3.5 together will be the total distance of the question mark. So seven plus 3.5, don't forget seven is 7.0. So nothing in five is five, seven and three is 10. Put your decimal point in, your final answer should be 10.5 centimeters. But that is made easier by writing on missing numbers onto the diagram.